A recent failed Russian assault northeast of Sivesk near Bilohorivka prompted outrage from some Russian ultra-nationalist mill bloggers over Russian command failures and the pervasive Russian military culture of exaggerating battlefield successes. Russian Zedwar correspondents are already blaming the Russian Defense Ministry command for this, which allowed major losses during the offensive in the Bilohorivka area. Russian war correspondents claim that the commander of the 123rd Motorized Brigade gave the order to the 1st, 2nd and 3rd Motorized Battalions, as well as the 4th Tank Battalion, to conduct a frontal attack on the Ukrainian Armed Forces positions in the Bilohorivka area. ISW analysts gave a description of those events. The offensive was launched on November the 2nd, when the enemy, without adequate fire support, advanced on the positions of Ukrainian forces. Z-War correspondents emphasized that the offensive itself was not only unsuccessful, but also led to large losses in both personnel and military equipment. Russian war correspondents have once again repeated their criticism that the main thing for the command is to create beautiful reports for the Russian Ministry of Defense attaching to them false maps with achievements on the battlefield. Field commanders send false reports to the Russian Ministry of Defense in order to secure promotions at the expense of the lives of Russian military personnel. The Russian Ministry of Defense had claimed in late October 2024 that Russian forces had seized Serebryanka just west of Bilohorivka and Russian mill bloggers may have been referring to this claim in their critiques. Bilohorivka is a particular sore spot for the Russian ultranationalist community because Russian forces have impaled themselves on assaults to take the settlement since at least May 2022. The Russian military command most notably launched a catastrophic river crossing to take Bilohorivka in May 2022 that failed resulting in significant Russian armored vehicle losses. ISW recently observed elements of the 5th Motorized Rifle Brigade fighting in the Kurakov direction. A Russian mill blogger claimed that Russian deputy commander of the sniper platoon of the 88th Hispaniola Volunteer Brigade, Pavel Alexandrovich Apalkov, nicknamed Joker, was killed in combat in the Chasiv Yar direction. Вот он ночной перелет нахуй. Нихуя въебала вас пизда тут просто. Вон дырки нахуй. Шары какие-то, я хуй знаю. Хуя это железо так пробивает. Че, войника тут ебать так. Ну пизда вас. Заебись людей не было просто. Нихуеть. Но она въебала такая, готова до нашего лагеря вас достала, прикинь, смотри. Людей недавно не сделал с этих палатов. Смотри, что творится. Нихуя у нас веселуха сегодня была пизда ночью. Гасились нахуй по блиндажам, по хуежам. Смотри, вот палатки живут. Просто пиздец. Нихуя знаешь. Нихуя тут просто. Чё тут ебал, я хуй знаю. Пиздец. Вот видишь, эти палатки тоже поразъебал. Тут он поразрофил его тоже. Ну, поразлетал вообще нахуй. Ебать, вот, смотришь, эти внутря. Тоже позацепило нахуй. Ебанулся нахуй. Хуй его знает, что будет. Ну, эти более-менее вроде. Конечно, вот такая вот хуйня тут происходит у нас. Вроде в России все спокойно. Хуй там плавал.
в доме получается вот обгорел шкаф вот эта стена то что у нас на вешалке было микроволновка и колонка ну, остальное просто залили водой вот так как-то а ну это сплавилось 